Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a rational equation with complex numbers. We have, we have 1 plus e to the power i theta divided by 1 plus e to the power negative i theta equals i. A lot of i's, a lot of imaginary numbers and we're going to be solving for what? We're going to be solving for theta because that's the only unknown, right? So this problem doesn't have the typical, you know, z equals a plus bi format. But remember, a plus bi is the name of this channel. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I made a bunch of videos on the basics of complex numbers. Great. So let's see if we can solve this problem in more than one way. I'll be presenting at least two methods. Let's see how this goes. First method, I want to go ahead and just treat this as an exponential and we have a negative exponent here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and flip it because that is the reciprocal, right? So we're going to write this as 1 plus e to the i theta divided by 1 plus 1 over e to the i theta. That's what it means, right? Equals i. And then make a common denominator or you can multiply everything by e to the power i theta. That will be pretty much the same thing. Let's go ahead and do that multiply by e to the i theta and multiply by e to the i theta. And when you distribute e to the i theta, they're going to cancel out here. So then we're going to get something like this. e to the i theta, let's keep it that way for now. Let's not distribute. And we can always distribute later. Divided by e to the i theta times 1, which is e to the i theta plus 1. Awesome. Now this is really nice and notice that it was good that we didn't distribute because we can kind of simplify this out. But there is one thing that you need to be careful about. You need to make sure that e to the i theta plus 1 does not equal 0. Because what happens if it's 0, then you get 0 divided by 0, which is very problematic. Okay, so let's just assume that e to the i theta plus 1 does not equal 0. In other words, e to the i theta does not equal negative 1. Under those conditions, we can go ahead and simplify this, and that's going to give us e to the i theta equals i. Beautiful. And obviously, if e to the i theta equals i, we can guarantee that e to the i theta is not going to be negative 1 because i does not equal negative 1. Wait a minute. Isn't i negative 1? No, i squared is negative 1. Yeah, that's the difference, right? So i is the number whose square equals negative 1, and some people call it like i, they define i as the square root of negative 1. Yes, it's one of the square roots of negative 1 or the principal square root of negative 1 because a complex number has two square roots. And negative 1 is a complex number. Kind of hard to believe, right? But it is a complex number and also a real number, of course. Anyways, how do we take it from here? We have this equation and what can we do? Well, you can try using natural logs to bring that i theta down. Uh, so at this point, you can say, OK, if I natural log both sides, then I should be getting something like this. But then what is ln e to the i theta? That should be i theta, right? So i theta equals ln i, and then theta equals ln i over i. The million dollar question is, what is ln i, right? How do you find the natural log of a complex number, such as a plus b i? Well, i is kind of easier to do, but the idea behind this is basically ln i is going to be ln 1 plus i times pi over 2, which is the argument of i when graphed in the complex plane or the argon plane. But of course, you're allowed to add multiples of 2 pi to this, so I'm going to write it as follows, and n is going to be an integer. I was about to write natural number, but it doesn't have to be non-negative or positive. Okay? And ln 1 is 0, so just forget about it. And this is i theta, so if I cancel out the i, theta would be that, right? Looks like theta is going to be from here, pi over 2 plus 2 pi. And see how ambiguous this is as opposed to this one. This is actually a nicer result. Well, they should be the same thing, but there are multiple values. So the problem with this is that a complex number and its natural log, because we, that's another complex number, 
it can be written in actually not the number itself I mean, I mean the argument can be written in multiple ways anyways I hope that made sense so it looks like we found something but uh, replacing n with several different values you're gonna get you know different values for theta so that was one way to approach it again we just made a common denominator simplified it as much as possible here's another way to look at it and also we can kind of branch off of this instead of solving it this way like we can take it from here e to the i theta equals i can also be solved in a different way remember Euler's formula the polar form e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta which is very helpful in most cases because notice that now we have complex numbers on both sides and to be able to compare them you basically write i as 0 plus 1i right and then compare the real parts to real parts so cosine theta is supposed to be 0 and sine theta is supposed to be 1 what does that tell you think about the unit circle you should know this cosine is 0 here and here sine is 1 in only one place and that will be right here which indicates pi over 2 but of course you're allowed to add multiples of 2 pi which pretty much gives us the same answer again to recap we were trying to solve for theta because that was the only unknown in this equation and that happens to be pi over 2 plus 2 pi n if you want the principal value set n equals 0 and then you're going to get theta equals pi over 2 this is especially good for checking your work plug it in and you'll see that it actually satisfies the equation and we can definitely test it out let's go ahead and do that we have 1 plus e to the i theta divided by 1 plus e to the negative i theta so if theta is pi over 2 this is going to give us 1 plus e to the power i pi over 2 and that's going to be 1 plus e to the power negative i pi over 2 now you should know that this is equivalent to what <laughs> cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2 which would be i so this is 1 plus i and guess what this is going to be 1 minus i because those are conjugates right yes and then wait a minute aren't we supposed to get something from here okay here's the thing we're supposed to get an i from here but let's multiply by 1 plus i and 1 plus i the conjugate the numerator becomes 2i if you square this and the denominator becomes 2 which gives us i so yes our solution checks that's what we were trying to do now let's go ahead and look at the second method real quick the second method involves a little bit of uh, complexities or complications whatever uh, I'm just going to replace e to the i theta with that now e to the negative i theta is going to be cosine theta minus i sine theta and this is equal to i now again there's a couple different ways to proceed you can we can talk about 2a and 2b and I can still make the joke to be or not to be right so 2a is going to be the following cross multiply and just solve for uh, like normal you know something is going to cancel out put the real parts and imaginary parts together and set them equal to each other make sense I mean the reals to reals and imaginary to imaginary to 2b that's going to be 2a the 2b is going to be the following use double angle identities so replace this with 2 cosine squared theta over 2 minus 1 one's like one's going to cancel out and to do the same thing here and then after simplifying use the 2 sine theta over 2 cosine theta over 2 again the double angle formula here and here and then simplify and hopefully you'll get you'll get something from there but that's going to take a while so I'm going to leave it for you as an exercise but I'll show you how to do it at least you have the strategies right hopefully and this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and don't forget to check out cyber math and bye bye